Welcome back, bitches! What's up, Pisces gang? It's your girl, Empress777, here today with your almost daily love reading. Hi, guys! I miss y'all! Oh, my God! I live! I love y'all down! We'll get to all of that in a minute, though. Holy angels and spirit, guys. Give me clear, concise messages for my Pisces gang gang. What's going on? Uh, Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. It is general. It may or may not resonate. Take what does leave the rest. Y'all already know how this goes nothing has changed not much your girl just been sick as fuck y'all i've been so sick i'm gonna tell y'all something you really do not realize just how imperative your health is just for a normal day to day until you've been placed on your ass okay i mean sick as a dog it's not even there's no words to describe just the hell that i have experienced these last two weeks i was so sad to have to go away from you guys but i literally had no energy zero i think it might have been covid y'all i don't know I, I was too weak to even go get tested but my sister had it and i just kind of think that because we were in close proximity we both kind of just got pow you know what i'm saying knock bitch right foot down and be like lay your ass down girl please sit your ass down girl please shut the fuck up girl you know what i'm saying okay hacking up my lungs all of that so i'm so happy to be back though i feel a lot better i still have like a little minor cough just very very minor i got like a throat lozenge so i don't have to put y'all through the stress and the strain okay but let me just definitely say thank you to all of you who showed me love i tried to post on the community tab to let you guys know where i was where my whereabouts were i didn't want to just leave you hanging so for those of you who didn't see that i apologize um i did let y'all know that i was sick as fuck guys okay thank you for all of you who kind of wished me well and you know lifted my spirits while i was down and i'm so glad to be back click that like button if you glad your girl is back y'all know we about to cut up right y'all know y'all know it's about to go all the way the fuck down right because somebody is really fucking with you i'm just saying i'm just saying there is a lot of warnings that came out in this sort of pre-shuffle that we have going on here and we're just gonna dig right in so I don't know why people want to come and pretend like I'm not going to keep it all the way funky. I'm not going to keep it a buck because that's just what I do. There's definitely somebody here who is kind of uh, hoping for the bait and switch. They're hoping that their words not matching their actions will kind of ball over. They're kind of playing upon your intelligence, guys. And it's pissing me the fuck off. I'm just going to say that. There's definitely some sort of plan here. There's definitely somebody who has been playing with you all along, guys. They've been playing all along. What they don't know is that you invented this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Toys R Us and all of that other shit. You invented the games, you know, you in, you invented that shit. You just allow other people to play it and you might play stupid with their ass just to give them enough rope to hang that shit. So I feel like that's what has happened, guys. But we do have somebody who kind of still feels like they have some sort of hold on you. They feel like you will ultimately make a decision to give them another chance. Um and it's a very vengeful type of spirit that's coming out of very loving words though it is so confusing um and it's enough to piss you off they're dumb because they think that you would fall for the bullshit which is totally wrong i'm gonna just have to say that okay now i don't know where some of you stand in your healing process because that definitely will determine whether or not this person even gets another conversation with you do you understand what i'm saying um irregardless of just how toxic the energies were i definitely feel like this is some sort of a contractual agreement that the two of you have been bought here like divinely guided to this juncture to learn lessons and to kind of um grow from fuck shit unfortunately right like the lessons come out of the most bullshit you already know that um while you are learning yours this is somebody who kind of wants another go round 
of bullshit though <laughs> you know what I'm saying like this is definitely somebody who is willing to come in and rock you to sleep feed you lies feed you false hopes um and hope that you will kind of trust whatever it is that they say that they they have you know kind of planned for you guys they are hoping that you will listen to them with the ears of the old you i'm just saying you've made some changes you have definitely made some changes you have definitely shaken up some shit in your life um you're definitely on the trajectory of some form of success some sort of come up is what i felt guys okay it's a very specific storyline it's either your story or it's not um whatever this come up is whether it's already happened or you're on the brink of um kind of going to this next level this person cannot come i mean that's just that on it that's just that on it she don't lie she don't lie and my cars don't lie okay everybody can't come with you but this is definitely one of those people who is not supposed to be on that journey with you now it is the love okay it's the emotions sometimes it's the sexual attraction the physical attraction the chemistry whatever it is sometimes can make other people think that you bumped your fucking head i don't know i don't know i'm not saying you did i'm not saying you did but what i'm saying is this person definitely thinks that you got a couple knots on your forehead they think you fell and bumped that shit um and that you will ultimately hold their hand and guide them up with you um how do they believe that this is that this that something like this will work well because in the past they've been able to kind of bait and switch you like i said okay guys that's just me keeping it a buck let's keep me keeping it real it's not a lie you know what i'm saying i think we've all been there it's not like you just actively sat there and let somebody play you like we're not fucking stupid out here there were definitely a lot of games in this shit lots of mind games lots of manipulation lots of um gaslighting invalidation um lots of toxic shit going on here guys okay this is already this is somebody who already knew that they were not on the level but they tried to convince you that you weren't on the level okay so they put you on defense right they put you on the defense um prove to me why I, why I should still talk to you prove to me why I should make this exclusive prove to me you know what you bring to the table that type of shit you know what I'm saying this is somebody who wanted who wanted you to prove your worth to them every step of the way and I think for a little while I think it was a a uh, uh, Jedi mind trick right you found yourself almost in that defensive position like how dare you do you know who I am like this is what I possess I have this this and this and this and then do you know what I can do for you like do you know where this shit can go where this shit is about to end up because penthouse is the only place that I go baby okay all the way up um and I'm willing to help you. I'm willing to take you there with me. I'm willing to be that for you. If you don't know how to get there yourself, that's where I'm going. So you come in or not, nah, right? Um, bad idea. Bad idea to give this person any sort of grace. And it is that grace that you showed them that has them thinking there's knots on your forehead, that you bumped your fucking head. And they kind of think that you'll bump it again, guys. And it's pissing me off. I'm going to be very, very clear. It's very disheartening, okay? We do have someone coming in. Um, I feel like you have made an escape. The great escape is what I just heard. You have escaped this, okay? Okay. But the feelings are still there on their part. For some of you, you still have some residual, you know, emotions left. This is somebody who thinks that the emotions that are left are enough to sustain them to get a foot back in. Okay. This is somebody who's definitely planning to pop up. Okay. In your DMs, at your door, at your mama house, at your cousin job, whatever. Okay. Um, to catch you off guard you know what i'm saying kind of surprise you um not give you a chance to really think about it don't give you a chance to think about how far you've come or where you're going or the plan the bigger picture um 
this is definitely someone who is envious guys of the track that you are on they always knew that you were destined for greatness they always knew that they were not on the level um but the bait and switch right is to get you to think that you're the one who's not on the level to get you to think that you're the one who's lucky beg them for a relationship beg them you know to see you, to hear you, to want you, to be there, to put an effort, to do what you're doing, to give as much as you're giving. Very, very, very toxic energy, guys, okay? It's quite disgusting. It's almost making me sick again. It's almost making me sick again, okay? I, I, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, we do have the Hierophant here, guys, okay? So, well, this is somebody who's pretending as if you don't make them no money, you don't break them no money, right? It is what it is. They don't care. On to the next. There'll be others after you. Blah, 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 blah. It's a lie. Okay? It's definitely a lie. It's another one of these manipulative ploys. Okay? This person uses all kinds of toxic tactics okay to get people to chase them beg them fall all over them ask them what they're doing ask them where they're going ask them what they want baby baby please what can i do what do you need how can we make this right like how can you know right right and it works oftentimes it does work oftentimes there has been some time that has lapsed here, however. Okay, you come to your senses. Now I'm not, I ain't calling you stupid because it is the mind games of it all. It's the confusion of it all. It's the confusion of it all that has allowed this person to even penetrate your space, okay? Um, the time that they were allowed to be around they were able to actually tap into your heartstrings. Let's just be very real, y'all. Let's be real. It's not a lie. Um, this is definitely somebody feeding you bullshit, okay? Um, I'm not saying that it's not only you, but I do get the idea that this is somebody who they get off by bringing people who they who they feel are seemingly strong, seemingly successful, seemingly upper echelon, you know, on the next level, bringing that kind of person down. Oh, they get off on that. They like that. They um, feed off of that. They feed off of toxicity. This person is always with the shits. They do put on a good face, however, to try and uh, feign indifference, which is what I feel they're doing now. Um, if you have access to their social media, you may feel as though this person has kind of moved on, that they've deleted you out of their membrane, out of their system, out of their psyche. It's a lie. Okay. It's boiling. All right. They, they are definitely extremely rageful. I think the rage stems from the great that great escape <laughs> that's what they just said <laughs> that great escape it was the escapism of it all they never thought that you would get out of their grasp that, that wasn't the part of the plan that wasn't the plan okay the plan was you were not allowed to move on or release them until they had broken you down completely oh my god Oh, I'm going to fuck them up, y'all. I'm going to fuck them up. I know I've been gone. You know what I'm saying? I know I still got a little bit of a cough, but I will fuck some shit up for you. Um, It's so sad. It's so sad that this is what they are deciding to use their mental capacity on. This is what they are deciding to focus on. This is definitely something that they have been toiling over. Um how dare you right like know your self-worth and not believe me when i say that you're worthless how dare you move on and not talk to me not text me not respond to me as if you know you're better than me even though you are but you're just supposed to believe that you're not you know what i'm saying it's like you're fucking up their plan um <laughs> wow so get card from spirit a personal issue reaches a resolution yeah you brought resolution to this your fucking self no validation needed in reference to where it is that you want to go what it is that you want out of life this person definitely wanted you to um 
focus on them and kind of listen to what they have to say in reference to where this should go, how you should feel about yourself, how you should feel about them, how you should conduct yourself moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Um, you bought resolution yourself. You didn't get all the answers that you needed, but you got the answers necessary, okay? To get the fuck out of Dodge. Um, and they hate that you've escaped this. Uh, that judgment card is definitely giving me your energy, okay? You have to make an ultimate decision. This shit was fucking hard. It was a very, very difficult decision to make. Um, some of you are still toiling with it back and forth in your mind, um, but you've made the correct one. You know what your energy feels like now versus when this person still had access to you. Do you understand? It's a great difference. Um, so kind of coming to grips with what was, what will never be, what you do have control over, and you escape that shit, guys, okay? You feel like you were given a second chance. Um, I feel like this relationship definitely felt like quicksand to you. The, the more that you tried to get away from this shit, the deeper you felt that you were being pulled in. Um, so well done job well done this says full moon and, and cancer so you could be dealing with a cancer um but crazy shit goes on on full moons right like i don't know about y'all but some freaky shit be going on some um once in a blue moon type shit right people lose their mind like just weird kind of things often go on when we have full moons so I feel like this is the energy that this person feels that you're on, right? Like this is some weird shit for you to have just dropped them. For some of you without a word, without regard, without a conversation, it was very, very unexpected. Yep, very unexpected, okay? And so they are extremely hot about this shit. They are very pissed off about this shit. I feel like they're sadly mistaken if they think they're going to be met with the same person when, when or if you decide to engage them. For some of you, that will never happen. Okay. Um, you know the magnitude of this relationship. And so you know that that's tricky, tricky if you even allow a conversation with this person, um, especially if you haven't fully healed. Like I said, we could talk shit about these people all day. I say it all the time. But when you in that shit, when you in the thick of that shit, it could be very, very difficult to fully turn away from. Um, so you just like, uh, no, <laughs> you won't even get a conversation out of me, bruh, <laughs> sis, ma'am, sir. Wow. So what is this person's purest feelings for you at this time? We have oh, yeah, six of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. They feel like you're being unreasonable. Um, the rationale of this person, though, we can't really rely on that. Okay. I feel like they definitely thought that there was time to continue this. Okay. This merry-go-round. Um, prior to this great escape, this is definitely somebody who felt like they had you right where they wanted you. Um, they wanted you to trust that everything would fall into place. Okay. So I don't know what kind of promises were made here. I'm just hearing that intuitively. There were like promises made. There were like conversations had about the scope of things, where things are going, the exclusivity of it all, the effort being given, the time being wasted, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Um, and they just kind of wanted you to chill, go with the flow, right? Like dead fish. I'm just saying, that's the only thing to go with the flow, my fucker, is dead fish. And <laughs> you seemingly betrayed them in their mind. They feel betrayed, guys, okay? Because they thought they had you. They thought they had you. Um, they thought that those games that they were playing was enough to keep you preoccupied with the confusion. You know what I'm saying? The confusion is definitely the devil's playground. I'm just going to say that. Um, and insecurity is what I'm hearing intuitively. 
is one of the most toxic traits you can have in a, con in a love connection. I feel like this person's insecurities definitely has encaptured them, guys. It has encaptured their ego, their psyche. Um, there is some really traumatic experiences from their past um for their from their past life for some of them because it feels very karmic i definitely feel like this is a soulmate connection we're dealing with um and their to most toxic trait is their insecurity this is why they conduct themselves in this manner um that should take away at least some of the confusion you like girl i don't take away shit but it doesn't matter it didn't matter at the time that you escaped this connection or this relationship you didn't need to have any more questions answered you you you, you figured it out okay you realized all that you needed to know um nothing left here to see is what i just heard wow so how do they feel you affect things how do they feel you affecting things yep moving the fuck on <laughs> Okay, on to the next. Um, truly focusing on new business ventures, new love interests, um, but most importantly, um, your own attraction to yourself. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> this person really played themselves, trying to play you, trying to get you to dim your light, trying to get you to mirror their insecurity do you understand so projection okay um i feel like this person is definitely having a lot of anxiety mentally at the fact that they they weren't able to control this the way that they thought they were in control and that's your fault because you made them feel like they was in control <laughs> i know i know i'm just saying i'm just saying it's a piscean thing you know what i'm saying because it's like <laughs> people really do not understand what the fuck is going on here what is going on here yes your mind games may have played a very small role in the reason why you were able to stay around but a, the greater portion of why you feel bamboozled is because pisces definitely like no other can play the dumbest of them and give you just as much rope as you need to hang yourself okay and it's with the intent to see just how far people will take things just to see how dumb a motherfucker will think that you are you know what i'm saying see how just how stupid people are in your in your energy in your hemisphere that's with just anyone okay so this is why this person feels like just kind of taken by surprise um with this escape of yours now they want you back they want to put you in the pressure cooker okay um this is somebody who is definitely coming forward guys okay they have a plan they're not coming forward as this rageful uh lunatic emotional lunatic as <laughs> they really are inside they're not coming towards you in that manner very very cool calm collected very indifferent um they're gonna be saying a lot of good shit they're gonna be saying a lot of shit that you want to hear period okay um it is with the intent to sabotage this next level for you okay there is some sort of manifestation coming to fruition this is something that you have manifested um this person wasn't on your level then but they most certainly will not be on the level to go with you into this next cycle um and they know this okay so the sabotage is the plan that's the name of the game baby they're trying to prolong this shit now anything that is for you will not miss you i always say that but that shit can be prolonged it could take longer to happen you know what i'm saying so i feel like that is their that's their mindset that that's the goal that's their goal to um <laughs> bait and switch you again okay get you to focus on them get you to focus on um your betrayal okay get you to focus on the error of your ways wow all right guys look i'm going over to the extended okay i want to see what were their intentions all along for this connection before you piss them the fuck off was this the intention all along because it i mean i just can't believe that there could be somebody this toxic ever you know what i'm saying it, it's really baffling um that they would 
spend their time focused on this. I just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? I, I do not get it. So we're going to look at that. I also want to see what karma. <laughs> yeah, we deserve to know that. What karma they may be facing in their near future. I also want to see why did the divine allow things to transpire this way? This will definitely give us an eye into what your lesson in all of this was. And then I want to see where do they believe this will all end up? Okay. Um, they definitely have a plan. So we're going to take a look and see what their next steps are. The potential outcome if you do decide to engage this again, or if you decide to go in the opposite direction, there's no judgment here. Y'all already know that. Okay. I also want to see what beauty for your ashes is coming in in the very near future? That's that next level that we're talking about. Um, what might that entail? We're going to take a look into your near future. Let's see what beauty for your ashes spirit has in mind. And then we'll get two focus advice um, cards from spirit. One will come from our self-awareness um, oracle deck. And I want to see what you might be missing on your self-love journey that has you in this current position. Um, this is going to give us an eye into certain blockages that can help propel you through this next portal of success. And then we'll also take a look at focus advice on how to yield unwavering success in finances, love, and life overall in the least amount of time, okay? So you don't want to miss that. But first, click that like button, guys. It really does help. If you happy that your girl back, click that like button, y'all. And click the subscribe button. Become a part of our family. I'm going to try to upload for you guys quite a bit this week. So be on the lookout for that. Become a part of that notification gang, gang. So you're notified when I do upload. And let's go ahead and cut up. Let's go on over to the extended. All right, guys, it's going to be linked down below. I'll see y'all over there.